Hi, my name's Kish Patel. I'm the Chief of Medicine. There's lots of people I want to thank today and hopefully I get everyone. Firstly, my team in diabetes. Thank you for helping me to make time and releasing me to help support the medicine division. Without you, I don't think I'd have got through these last six months. My senior team have been fantastic and have made my job that much easier. Um, from Elaine, my divisional director, Claire and Karen, and the ADMs, you've been fantastic. I've asked questions, I've asked for things, and you've just gone on and done it. So thank you so much. My clinical teams, the junior doctors have been absolutely fantastic. A lot of them have moved on to hospitals new, so hopefully this message will get through to them to say thank you. My senior colleagues, you've been so supportive in this, worked differently, worked beyond, up and above and beyond, and I thank you all. And finally, I'd like to thank Dwayne and Steve. You've been really supportive, we've worked well together, we've collaborated, we've negotiated, we've argued every now and then, but through it, we've got through it, and I know we'd be ready if this happens again. So once again, thank you all. Hello everyone, my name's Ali Gamby, I'm Head of Nursing for Urgent Care. I want to say a great big thank you to all of our urgent care staff who have worked tirelessly and been really resilient throughout this horrible period, throughout the whole of the pandemic, and who continue to do so. So thank you very much and keep going, we're nearly there. Yeah. Hi, my name's Alice Chalmers, I'm one of the matrons for medicine. What I would like to do, and on behalf of myself and all the matrons for medicine, is say a huge thank you to all our medical staff. You have worked tirelessly throughout this COVID period when we know it's been very challenging. The anxiety that it has caused, not just for yourselves, but for your staff, for your families, we completely understand and we fully appreciate everything that you have done for us. You have moved wards, you have run short-staffed and for that there's no words that we can do to express any more thanks. Thank you. A poem from Radiology to the Trust. From Radiology, we say thank you to our friends across the Trust. Thank you for being there when it was really tough. Thank you for caring with a kind word and a smile. Thank you, each one of you, for going that extra mile. We know that everyone has played their part. We know that comes from the KGH heart. So from us to you, we send you a virtual hug and say a big thank you we send you our love. Thank, Thank you. you. My name is Joy Manning. I'm one of the matrons in medicine. Alice, one of my fellow matrons, has already thanked the awesome medical team across the bed base who have worked tirelessly over the pandemic period. But there's some other people that our division would like to thank. I would like to thank Josie, the head of nursing for surgery, and her team for filling some of our staffing gaps over this period. And I would like to say a special thank you to the Ashton team who have been relocated and are supporting us to staff Thomas Moore Ward. I would also like to thank our specialist nurses who normally work eight to five, Monday to Friday, and they stepped up and went and filled some of the gaps on our wards. And I would really, really like to thank you for that. I would also like to thank the corporate team, whether it's division, whether it's the governance team, whether it's patient safety team, for supporting us with some of the issues that we've had to get to grips with. But most of all, I would like to thank Medicine and the whole of the division and the whole of the senior team. I think we are an awesome team and we've got through it. And I know that if it hits again, we'll get through it again. Hello, my name is Elaine Graves. I'm the Divisional Director for Medicine and I feel very privileged that I've spent the last six months working with such fantastic people across the division but also in other divisions that have really supported medicine. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to um, people that perhaps you don't see every day, so the people in the outpatient department, the medical secretaries, the support secretaries that have worked tirelessly to cancel clinics and then rebook them all again for us. For the portering staff and the, um, the cleaning staff who've had to up, up their uh, frequency of cleaning to all our areas. Without them we couldn't have, have got through it. I'd like to say thank you to other divisions across the Trust who've supported our ED department. Um, so paediatrics had to move, um, the 
um, SDEC had to move, outpatients had to move, lots of changes in the footprint of our um, clinical areas and everybody was so willing and energetic and made those moves really quickly. I'd like to say thank you of course to all my team and um, our Chief of Medicine who stepped down from his clinical, full-time clinical role to support us and we couldn't have got through this without his support. I want to make sure that I thank everybody and I haven't mentioned the infection prevention team who've been tirelessly supporting us and advising us when um, we've had to change our pathways. And of course there's the site team who've had an even more of a difficult task, not just matching male and female beds but red and green pathways. Thank you to them. Thank you to the Woodlands, who I don't know if they'll see this thank you, but thank you to them for um, taking on our um, planned treatment area and supporting that while we didn't have space to do it here on site. Thank you to the radiology team who've done a fantastic job throughout this period and I know they were grateful for the support they received from the ITU nurses and ED nurses when they really needed their help. So thank you to all of you. So I could go on for a long time um, and I won't but I will just say a big thank you to everybody um, that I've worked with over the past six months that has sustained our services under this very difficult time.